Hey everybody, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today we're doing an unboxing and a review on the AquaClear 20 Hang On Back Filter. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. Okay, so what can I tell you about the AquaClear 20 Hang On Back Filter? Well, not much because I've never used one before. Uh, I can tell you because the box says that it's rated for a 5 to 20 gallon aquarium which is an 18 to 76 litre aquarium which is sweet because I've got a couple of that size hanging around that I wouldn't mind trying out on. Um, can't really tell you much more from looking at the box to be honest. So let's open her up. Comes conveniently or inconveniently wrapped in plastic. Personally, I think that's a little bit of inconvenience because now I've got plastic wrap to get rid of. But that's just my thoughts. Lid. Intake. Filter cartridge inserts. And the bit that hangs on the back. Pretty easy. And instructions. I'll get the box out of the way because I don't need that for the time being. So the motor and the impeller is out there. Looks pretty self explanatory, I reckon. Lid's going to go on, and I believe there's got to be. Something in here that I need. Fine. Weird stringy stuff. Carbon I'm not going to use. Bio, mechanical, awesome. Ah, there it is in there. That's what I was looking for. She gone tricked me. Get it out. This is really awkward to do with a camera in front of me. So very quickly with the camera off, I worked out that this comes out of there, which is where this was. So that's pretty easy to be fair. So it's coming together about as easy as I thought it would. It's really not that difficult. I'm just making it look far, far harder than what it is. So there is the, essentially, the outer shell. Whoa! This is turning into a nightmare. The outer shell of the hang on back filter. It's really easy to put, put together. I made it a lot harder than what it was because I've got a camera stand between me and my arms are right at their full stretch, but I think that is fairly easy to put together. And then I'm going to assume this goes into here. And then I meant to put this in here before I put it in there. And then over there. Put it in a tank and turn her on. Alright, so let's switch her on. So I filled up this part of the filter itself with water. Took about 600, 700 mils, which was alright. It seems to be struggling a little bit to take off. It's definitely coming up. And we're running through, and we're coming out now. So that wasn't too bad as far as takeoff goes. We've got about 30 seconds. A 
few of the layer bubbles in there that I can hear. And I can hear it quieting down already. So I've had a filter running on this tank um, for a couple of weeks now. There is no fish in it, it's just plants. So I've had a filter running on this tank for a couple of weeks, which I cleaned out today. And it is doing, the, the internal filter is doing far less work than what this hang on back is already doing. It's already far and superior. I've only got that little bit of uh, foam in the, the hang on back for the time being. I'll put the bio in there soon and I'll probably fill it up with uh, filter wall myself because that's the kind of combination that I like to run. But it's, you can definitely see that it's stirring up this water something wicked already. It is sitting on full go. You can sort of see it's coming through here. So I'll turn it down a bit. I've turned it right down to minimum. I'll turn it to minimum and up here is a lot less than what it was. We'll go back up. And it's almost like a torrent. I really, really, really like um, canisters. Okay, hang on back filters that are adjustable. I think it's a fantastic uh, trait to have in them. And this one is no different. And it works fine. They're turning it up and turning it down. I'm really happy with that. It's definitely moving some water in this tank. Uh, this is a 20 liter aquarium. As you can see, it's full of plants. So I was going to go on a bit of a tangent because the filter itself was on a lean. As you can see there, there is quite a big gap from where the filter itself hangs and the glass. And I thought this is ridiculous. This is a 20 litre tank. This filter is designed for between sort of 20 litres and 70 litres and you've got this massive gap. Who on in their right mind is going to make a tank this size out of 10 mil glass? Why is the gap so big? Why is the filter itself on the piss? And then I realized that this here is to set the filter so it's not all wonky. This right here is fantastic. I am so stoked this in there. One of my biggest pet peeves on hang on back filters is the fact that they are lopsided sometimes. There's nothing to adjust them. This little doohickey right there, it is brilliant. I think they have really, really done well with that particular little key on this toy. It's definitely got a good trickle going on with it. Pretty happy with this hang on back. Um, the construction's a little bit bulky through here. Um, I've got to actually have a bit of room. I already had a bit of room, but you're going to have to have a little bit of room if you're going to hang it on the back as opposed to the side or the front. That's probably my biggest downside to it so far. I like the adjustableness of the flow. You can definitely see it now. Maximum flow, minimum flow. I really like that, and I really like that little doohickey at the back that has everything sitting quite comfortably flat. It's a bit bulkier that way than like Aqua One hang ons, but it's not so much that way. And I think the internal of it is going to be quite easy to adjust to what I want to put into it. So, overall, I am pretty happy with um, this hang on back. Definitely see that it's moving water around in here. Oh, I'm going to focus, shit bugger. It's not going to. You can definitely see that it's moving the water around, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it at this point. It is quiet. Probably can't hear it, but it's definitely quiet. And it's only 5 watts of power, which is fairly low, which I'm pretty happy with as well. Okay, so... Like I said, it comes with some biological filtration, which is pretty cool. It even comes with a little basket bag to put it in as well, and a little clip. So you can fill it up with as much as you want, and then, ah, I dropped it, and then clip it off. So I think that's pretty handy as well. So I think we've de definitely thought of some options in this hang-on pack filter. So that's all positive for me. Okay, so what do I think of the Aqua Clear 20 hang-on back filter? Overall, I am pretty happy with this product. Uh, it's only 5 watts power consumption, which is quite low, which I do really, really like. I like the fact that it has that little doohickey that'll keep the uh, filter itself balanced and stable. I think that is a fantastic thing to have on it. 
I like the ability to turn the uh, the flow up and down as well. It was fairly easy to put together. It was just a little bit awkward because I just got him to stretch behind a camera. Um, I like the fact that the biological media has its own basket and they've got its own little bag basically, sorry, and they have got something to connect it with as well. I think that's brilliant. I didn't think there needed to be plastic shrink wrap on here. Um, there's bound to be a reason behind that, but I think that's kind of excessive and you know we're living in today's day and age of getting rid of plastic and that just seems absolutely wasteful to me. That's just my thoughts on that. Other than that, it's pretty good, pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to continue to run it on that, uh, that tank for a little while and I'm going to see if after a while it does begin to slow down or anything like that. But to start with it's quiet, it's low power consumption and um, I'm quite happy with it. I think I'm going to definitely get a few more and have a bit of a fiddle around with it on different size hang on bats and different size aquariums. Overall, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think I'd rather this one over the Aqua One modeled hang on back filters personally, just for the adjustableness and the fact that it has that little doohickey that, that's massive to me. I think also the way that the hang on back on these are set up gives you more adjustability in what the Aqua One ones do. I keep bringing out the Aqua One ones because those are the only ones that I've used prior to this and Aqua One range is quite common here in New Zealand as well so a lot of people use the Aqua One that's why I compare a lot of stuff to that because that's what a lot of people have used. Um, I know this is more expensive than the Aqua One. I don't know if it's more power hungry. I suspect it's either the same or less. Um, but if it's less, I think I'd definitely be putting my money into purchasing one of these. But um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Out of 10, I have only used it for a little while. But out of 10, so far, so good. We're looking around about seven and a half, eight at this point. We'll just see how it runs for, and I might end up having to do a follow-up video and say, I hate it. It blocks too easy. Ah, it's broken real quickly. Or I might do a follow-up video on it. This is absolutely amazing. Scratch the 8, let's go to a 9 or a 10. But I think somewhere in the 8 for the time being, I'm pretty happy with that. So that being said, I am now done with this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one, guys. Have a fish keeping and catch you later. Here's a bit of bonus chat for you guys to have right at the end. I've just looked at the instruction manual. And if you keep the instruction manual in the back of it, there's your parts replacement number. So if you ever break anything, you can go to your local fish shop and say, I need part number A16140, and they'll contact their supplier of this with the part number straight away to make life really easy for you, your local fish shop, and the people that supply them. So there's a decent bonus, I think, on the back of the instruction manual. So if you're an instruction manual keeper like I am, this is going to be very handy.